Because he, he came across as more of a brother, you know, than a lover kind of thing. I mean, we had our little thing, you know, our little looks at each other, our little flirtation. But, um, you know, he was, I, you know how sometimes you want somebody as your friend? And if anything else goes on, they won't be your friend anymore. And if you're working with them, it's kind of hard, too, especially if they're your boss, you know. And he, um, I, I mean, there were, there were attempts by him for us to have more than an employee-employer relationship. But I always managed to get around. <laughs> how did you resist? How, how, how did you resist Elvis Presley? Well, first of all, when I first first started working with him, I had a boyfriend. Okay. His name was Gregory, and he was in our band. And so Elvis was very careful with me that he didn't um, inter step on our toes because the band traveled with us, you know. So Elvis knew that was my boyfriend. But um, then, when we broke up, Elvis and Jerry Schilling, who I later married. They both asked me out at the same time. They wanted, both of them wanted me to come to Palm Springs. So I didn't go at all because um, I was invited by both of them. So I, I, I couldn't go at all. But Jerry was the one that kept pursuing the relationship. And Elvis backed out. <laughs> Why did Elvis back out? Because um, he knew that I wasn't really interested, you know, and he didn't have the time to pursue me like Jerry did. You know, he was busy pursuing everybody else. <laughs> But we, went, we, we but I spent a lot of time with Elvis. I spent time at his house. I, he made it, made sure that if I came to L.A., I stayed with him at his house, and um, we had a beautiful relationship. I'm glad it didn't get any further than that because it wouldn't have been the same kind of thing. I mean, I loved him. He loved me. We knew that, but we knew that anything else was not going to happen.